Well, guess who popped up and said he needed some food today, so we're going to throw a cricket or two in there. Oh, get your cricket. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Is that oh, good or what? Let me zoom in a bit here since he's down in his hole. Uh, the stand is a little hard to get right, but Mr. Pixie Frog loves his crickets. Nom, nom, nom. Another one? I know you do. Yeah, I seen you take a strike. Get it. Come on, the legs are wiggling. Get it. I'm not going to just put it in the water because he'll drown or something. Come on. Or did you just want one? Oh, he's poking your eye. You better eat him. Well, I'll put it up here on land. Hopefully you get him before he drowns because you don't like him when they're not moving. Oh yeah, look at that. He spotted it movement. Oh, I might just leave this on for a minute. He saw that movement. I'm going to go ahead and put your plants back on top of you. See, I water the plants up top and they drip down and it goes in the little openings. And gets more moisture in there, which there's so much moisture and humidity. Oh, oh, come on, you can get him. Hmm, you see my resurrection plant here. And it's got enough water. It's healthy. Come on, you know you want that cricket. Oh, he twice so hard. Oh well, that'll be some exercise for you chasing that around. And I've learned if I don't change his water more than once a week, he likes it better. Because when I change it, he doesn't want to be in there because there's no springtails to eat. Which he does eat the springtails. And as soon as he eats something, of course, he has to poop in that water and make it dirty. So usually on Fridays when I feed the tarantulas, he gets clean water and then he doesn't touch it for a day or two. Oh, you got that quick it. And I think I almost lost you on camera. I wasn't paying attention. That's Mr. Pixie. Or Miss Pixie. But I think from the shape of the jaw, it's a mister. But I'll be happy either way. They both live long lives. The only difference is the males get really big and the females just get big. It'd be kind of interesting because there's enough other people around here that have Pixie frogs that... Maybe we'll attempt a breeding with somebody in the future. But that's probably at least five years off. I'll stop that one.